Welcome to DBC Diaries, episode 50. I'm here with returning patient, Craig. Welcome back, Craig. Thanks, Josh. Thanks for coming back. Um, it's been a while since you've been here. Like, when were you here last? What did you uh, do? You were yeah. about three years ago in January. And at that point, I did uh, three treatments. It was the prostate, the lumbar, and uh, an IV of 100 million units. Got it. Yeah. How did that work out for you? The yeah. prostate, it, it shrank the prostate, so I was happy about that. Good. My back is pretty rough to begin with, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. Back's going to be yeah. tough. It's where yeah, it's a damage. Yeah. But uh, this time, it's uh, for the heart. Yeah. And um, should I explain a little more about yeah, that? Yeah, please. I mean, you're kind so of... Well, 14 months ago, I had open heart surgery. I had the aortic valve replacement with a tissue valve. And they did one bypass. And so at this stage of the game, I'm healing really well. I want to boost the healing. I want to fix the trauma that I endured during the uh, surgery. Yeah. And uh, just the overall, you know, another shot, another slug of good. Good, good. Well, we'll get you feeling good here. We just finished your IV. We did the 300 million. Right. And good news too, just before I came down to film this with you, I was filming with another returning patient today. Oh. And, you know, his ejection fraction got all the way down to 18% at one time. It was so low, which wow. is, should be over 55 is like normal. Mm -hmm. And he's back uh, at about like over 60% now from last year. Doing the test. same treatment. So... That's we're great. Consistently getting amazing results with our heart repair, which has been really cool. Oh, well, I'm really looking forward to that, to that then for sure. Yeah, because so, yeah. when you do the IV, it goes straight to the heart for the right. place it goes. Right. So we don't have to go directly into the heart. And, and the lungs. And, yep, and yep. it gets to the lungs. And about 70% or so gets stuck there for two to three hours. That's okay. why we do these big numbers so we can get more through to other organs. Nice. So it's going to help a lot more than just your heart. It's, yeah. It might even help your back a bit. You know, we, <laughs> no, seriously, we've had a lot of people yeah. like get some even relief, even from just the IVs. There's a lot of muscles that support the back there. Right. And that's why we do the IV with the back treatments. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's a, it's a good combo thing. So. All right. <laughs> All right. We're cool. Anything else or no? It's, good to uh, go. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad to be back and, uh, I'll keep you posted on the oh, yeah. uh, on the results and as I go along here, and I'll probably be back again for another another slug in a couple <laughs> of years. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and how did when it, when they found out were they doing like any did they do like a CT like calcium score or how did they kind of determine where you were? At? Well, here's what happened. I was uh, I was coming down for coffee in the morning, and I was dizzy, and I was holding onto the counter. No, I didn't have a heart attack, but I was all woozy. And I thought, this is not right. I'm going to go see the doctor. And he put a stethoscope on me instantly. He said, you have a murmur. Oh. Because my heartbeat wasn't thump, thump. It's a fish thing. Yeah. And uh, so then one thing led to another, an angiogram, this, that. And uh, uh, no surgery. And they went in, got yeah. it. That's how I found out. But fortunately, I didn't have a heart attack. I didn't yeah. have a stroke or anything like that. So, oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, nice. people need to check their heart. I highly recommend yeah. if you're over 40, you should do what's called a CT, like calcium score. Right. This checks. It really shows you the buildup in the arteries. You know, that's what they call it, the calcium right. buildup, which is, that's really what gets people. All right. Clogs up the artery. Yeah. And most people never get this scan, so they never know. And then boom, that's when it's clogged. Right. It might be too late. So you can do that, be preventative. And stem cells are very preventative, actually. The okay. IV helps regenerate the interior lining of the arteries. Oh, it does. And that's what prevents the buildup of the calcium. The problem is over time, these interior walls of the arteries get beat up, eat too much sugar. That's like right. sanding it down. And then mm -hmm. he starts sticking. And once it sticks, it builds up because it's mm -hmm. like the LDL they call bad cholesterol. Right. It's actually very good for you. <laughs> but the problem is when that arterial wall starts breaking down, that's when it sticks and you have issues. So right. it's a... Uh, it's good to be preventative well, and preventative and, uh, you know, healing and all that and doing the whole thing here. You got to keep it yeah. going. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Hope yeah. this helps some people at home. If you've had any heart issues or are interested in stem cells, you can go to our website, 
check out www.dreambody.clinic. You can scroll down on the homepage. All the treatments are listed, prices, info, studies, videos like this with past patients to explain. And you can call us toll free anytime, free consultation at 888-704-3977. I'm Josh, happy to help.